Well, Alfred, the avatar, still has ways to go before his sympathy is really convincing. The languages of emotion are complex and not to be deciphered lightly. That's the name of another cluster of excellence project, by the way. Emotion researcher Isabel Chovek is involved. Thanks for joining us here on Tomorrow Today. Hi. What actually makes an avatar human and likable for us and how real can they be? Well, um, there are studies that show that the more human an avatar gets, the more we tend to like it. Although there is a, a certain effect which is called the uncanny valley effect, that if an avatar gets so close to being human, we actually feel repelled by it. How does the brain actually, how can it distinguish between a real face and an artificially generated face? There's different brain areas that are concerned with different aspects of face processing, uh, one of which is the fusiform gyrus, which is concerned with uh, identifying a face, um, identifying a certain person. And that brain area can very well uh, decipher whether it's an avatar or a human being. Now, in our report, um, we saw that avatars can actually help autistic patients. What can they do that a real human can't? Well, there's not much that, of course, an avatar can do, uh, which a psychotherapist can't, but um, an avatar is somewhat more manageable. I mean, you can basically uh, control it, right? And, and also, it's always available as long as you have a computer at home, uh, so it's much cheaper, uh, and you can do it on a daily basis. Your work um, looks at how people are able to identify emotions in children mm -hmm. and um, it involves a kind of game that we all played in some form or another as children putting together pieces of a puzzle. We're looking mm -hmm. at it there right now. Yeah. Um, although when I did this, it was uh, with paper cutouts okay. <laughs> and not with a computer program. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about this? So what you have to do here, what you see is that you basically have to puzzle the, the correct emotional expression uh, with the same, you have the same identity of the person and you've got to puzzle the, the the correct uh, emotional expressions and because uh, faces are really the source of uh, or the main source from which you can uh, distinguish what a person is feeling or thinking it's so important to actually be able to read faces and can anyone benefit from tests like these yeah, sure. We think so. Not only people uh, that have autism. Um, think about people in different professions, such as, for instance, a customs officer. It would be very good for him to be able to spot people that are about to smuggle goods, for instance. How easy is it to um, determine, or, or are there typical ways to determine whether someone is truly smiling or whether it's a fake smile? And do you maybe have an edge on, on other people because you work in the field? No, I, I wish I had, but I actually don't. Um, you can actually very well distinguish, I mean, if you train it. There are certain training programs to, uh, to see if, if somebody smiles genuinely or if it's a fake smile, because you do use different muscles in your face. So you tend to use um, muscles around your eyes that makes these uh, funny wrinkles here, and then it, it tends to be a real smile. So whereas if you, if you produce a fake smile, you tend to only uh, raise the, the corners of your mouth. What role do emotions play in, in everyday life? Well, they are pretty much very central to everything and interestingly they are also central to, to uh, rational thinking, something that people didn't think so for a, a long, long time. Uh, there are studies in people that do not have emotions to a certain degree and they are also not able to think rationally. Just really briefly, because we're almost out of time, are there certain emotions that in evolutionary terms are more important than others? I mean, yes, uh, certain negative emotions, for instance, they mean that a behavior needs to be changed or that danger is about to come. So certainly it is more important to be able uh, to identify them than others. All right, Esbajova, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome.